Hello everyone and welcome to the Northwest Coast Native Paddle Making video. My name is Sean Peterson and I decided to make a video about the process of making a canoe paddle. Part of uh, the video that I didn't get into this was the uh, cutout section that you see there and um, that's simply done with uh, using a bandsaw once the layout is put onto a plank. Now, um, for those of you who are purists and uh, very interested in how things were done a long time ago, this video is not really about that. Um, this is a video about the process of how things are done in the modern day. And this isn't to say that I'm doing everything with power tools. But I just wanted to share some of the process of how the canoe paddles are made and um, what I'm using there is a draw knife and um, this is a shallow bend crooked knife which is a traditional North West Coast native tool. Now this isn't seen very often uh, being used but this is a Diaz, there's that picture in the lower right there. Um, but the camera I'm actually using for this entire video is a, a GoPro Hero 2 model. It's used a lot for uh, skydiving and active sports, surfing and that sort of thing. And uh, one of my cousins picked one up and I thought it would be fun to um, document some stuff in the shop this way. Um, so what we're looking at here is probably the way that a canoe or a, a canoe paddle would have been shaped out mostly by actually adzing, um, and then the smoothing and refining edge part would be done with a knife. But uh, this draw knife method is pretty effective. It removes a lot, and then I move on to hand planes to smooth that down. And even with the hand planes, there's uh, switching grain, so I switch back over to using the crooked knife. And for things like that, you have to keep the knife sharp, always. I mean, that's an important part no matter what, but uh, some people don't. The part that I'm shaping now is the handle blade, the lower half. And for this, for a long straightaway, um, I use a long straight hand plane, or a jack plane. And again, there are some areas that um, are prone to ripping, and you have to use different tools. And right here is actually that same area that's sort of where the grain switched in and out, and I was using a rasp to go sideways um, to help shape that area and sometimes when the wood is really burly like that that's kind of the only thing that you can do and for the again for some of the purists who kind of criticize the modern methods of things about steel and sandpaper I was told by an elder back when that um, we may not have had sandpaper but uh, we used dogfish skin or shark skin um, and, and that's sort of a traditional quote-unquote sandpaper. That was my son there in the shop and uh, he's in the shop with me quite a bit. I'm using a hand plane to shape the handle there, clean out some of the switching grain inside there from the hollow. And this is the taper of the blade that goes into the handle on the lower end. And that was actually shaped down further with a crooked knife and a straight knife. And just smoothing it down with sandpaper. And my son, my best shop helper ever, uh, comes in and makes sure that I'm doing it right from time to time. 
So we're test fitting there. And the way that we secure the handle is by using epoxy. And this is a two-part epoxy that cures fairly quickly. And uh, the handles you see down there, I actually had made a couple other pad paddles that you'll see towards the end of the video here coming up. I'm going to make sure that all the contact area gets some of the epoxy around there. And of course we mask off the handle because you don't want that epoxy to get on to any of the wood surface because it will penetrate and harden and it's really difficult to um, get off once it saturates. So I just set those on wax paper, let them dry, and once those are cured, then uh, move on to taking off the tape and cleaning up the, the bits that are left, sanding off some of the epoxy that bleeds over a little bit, and that's it. And I'm debating on doing a video about the uh, painting process, but we'll see. And here's a word for my son. Okay, I am Kai. I watched the whole thing of Daddy's work. He, and he's over now. Oh, he, here's the pedal. See? See right here? So, he's not done working. Um, so, I was the one watching, and my name is Kai. So, and the Carver's Daddy. Say hi, Daddy. Hi. Um, and, um, <laughs> and credit. Do, 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 do